Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Lenny Random here to give you another Minecraft tutorial, this time a animal barn. It was a, another request, so thank you so much for the request. And if you have any other requests for me, please feel free to ask, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. So let's get on with the tutorial.
is completely done. Let's go ahead and do a tour of the animal barn as you all have been waiting for. Let's go here. So from the horse stable here, from the village, we come in this way down the path. And you still see the greenhouse over there, which is nice. And just turning this way, you get to the animal barn. Decided to go all out with the out, like uh, the outer area. Um, so you have more than just the barn itself. And if you want to kind of copy this, you can. I'll kind of show a little bit on how it's done. Um, you know, obviously not a full tutorial. It's, it's not that hard to make, in all honesty. Um, these are very simple. I didn't go full out like I did the barn, though. So, like, like this entrance here is it's really easy. You have a block and a, and a stone wall and a couple uh, uh, fence posts, a bunch of slabs on top, and you have some signs on there. And it kind of looks like, like a nice little uh, farm, farm entrance, I think, you know, and you get lanterns on the side. And the wall is very simple. It's just a, a log with a slab on top with a couple fence posts uh, in between. So all the way around the uh, perimeter. Come in, you get greeted by the kitty cat. Nice little kitty cat protecting the chickens. As long as you're not going to eat any of the chickens. Right? Okay. <laughs> so you get a little chicken area here. Got some eggs and, uh, and stuff there. Uh, if you want to know how this is made, it's pretty simple. You got... Um, uh, water underneath this block here with a slab that covers the water. Put a little item frame with an egg on top, and I think that's like a coral, you know, horned coral uh, fan. And if you don't put water, it eventually turns gray, I think. Yeah, like that. Uh, which you can do if you want to, I guess, if you want it to be like more grayish. But I like the yellow. It looks, it looks nice. And put some hay bales on below, so it looks good. Yeah, and that's a, there's a little overhang area for the chickens. Over here you have a little carrot farm, which you've probably seen. It's the exact same thing I made inside the greenhouse, uh, which I have some potatoes over here as well. And over here I made a little section for some llamas, because you can't forget the llamas, right? Gotta have some llama. Uh, little hay extra, uh, stacks of hay. I had to do it like double stack because they were kept like trying to escape outside of the, uh, the fencing. So uh, there's that. And uh, moving on. Over here, we got a little custom-made wheelbarrow. Um, I didn't come up with this design, but I've seen a lot of people make this exact design. It's just a little, um, what do you call it, cauldron with a grindstone, and of course your, uh, not the grass path, East Bruce Fence Gate. And that's all you do in this nice little uh, cosmetic uh, wheelbarrow. Uh, a little extra storage out here, just kind of scattered messy storage with a stone cutter and, and a, uh, crafting bench right and of course nothing nothing has really changed on the barn itself I don't think it's pretty much what you saw in the tutorial coming in here you have a nice dirt path with some scattered of spruce planks and uh, some of course some podzel and you got greeted by a little doggy here protecting this stuff other animals and uh, once again don't eat anything uh, so I cut off and made four sections in here so you can easily put four or you can you know make it only two if you want to like have the cows up and down this entire path and the sheep all the way down it's it's completely up to you how you want to do it i squeezed in four different animals in here so on the right side you have some bunnies the cute little bunnies they button heads <laughs> they're playing they're having a good time over here you have your sheep who apparently want to play with the bunnies uh and yeah that's on that side over here you have a little pig pen uh, put some paws on there, make it look like it's dirty and nasty and stuff, and like they've been messing or playing in the mud or whatever. I don't know. Uh, and then over here you have your cows with a surprise mushroom. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's that. And add some lanterns above. I think that was not in the tutorial uh, that you can add in there. And uh, we'll move up here to the loft. Show off up here, and add some more hay. Uh, up here I covered it at first and I was like oh yeah I need a way to get up and down so that's probably not a good spot to cover up the hay there um, some extra storage of barrels along the side here I mean you obviously don't have to use these these are just I what else were you gonna put down this little crack here before so I figured why not let's put rows of barrels on both sides and add some support uh, trap doors around these beams here just to get a little extra detail and yeah that is that's it. Oh, well, I guess I added more slabs on the roof here to add a little more detail too, as you can see. And you can, even if you wanted to, now that I'm thinking about it, you can easily add like 
uh, more trap doors on this top frame here let's just go ahead and do it just so I'm talking about building with Lenny on the fly here like oh, if you could do something like that and every other one maybe you would actually add a little more detail and support uh, look to that build there like so yeah that looks pretty good I like that and I did it along here too just to add a little more detail to that too um, or you could add signposts here. Signs. I've been using signs a lot more lately. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> like along here, I used to use just trap doors, but uh, I've been liking these using these signs in between. That's uh, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, that is it for the farm. Um, once again, this was a request. I hope the person who requests this is likes it. Uh, and uh, if you have any other requests, or anybody else has any other requests, please. Feel free to ask below. Um, I do have a backlog of different requests, so it might take a little bit of time for me to get to it. Um, but yeah, I usually if I comment on your request, I'll prob most likely do it in some time in the future. So once again, thank you all uh, for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Oh, I'm blinding you out here. Bye.